गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वी हैव डेवलप्ड मास डिटेक्शन एलगोरिजम यूजिंग के रास विथ टेंस ऑफ लो बैक एंड पाइथन इंटरप्रेटर एंड रन टाइम एनवायरमेंट ओपन सी वी दैन ग्राफिक प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट विच इज जी पी यू एंड मशीन लर्निंग कॉन्वल्यूशन न्यूरल नेटवर्क सो यूल हैव अ वीडियो डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ या दिस इज अ वीडियो डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द मास डिटेक्शन एक्सपेरिमेंट सो दैट्स ऑल फ्रॉम अस थैंक यू
Greetings everybody, this is PBR Group SG50. Our project is based on Python game development using Pygame. We have developed a snake game which mainly uses the concept of vectors and lists. Our game code mainly consists of three parts, the game loop, the definition of components and the classes. The game loop mainly consists of the uh, essential components of the game which need to be repeated in the game like the screen and the screen color the starting and the ending point of the game and the key commands the definition of components it contains as the name says it contains the definition of all of our components in the game like the size of the screen the size of each cell of the game on the screen and uh, the font of the game etc we have three main classes in our game the snake class the fruit class and the main class the snake class it essentially contains the snake and it controls the movement of the snake the length of the snake uh, etc and we it also contains the graphics of the snake the fruit class it generates the food at random intervals and we have also included the uh, the graphics of the fruit in the same class and the main class uh, it controls the entire game it stores the information of the instance of the snake and the uh, board and the food and all of it and it also checks if it has a, if the snake has any collusions with itself or the boundaries of the game. I'm gonna run the game now. This is a uh, snake game, and we can control the movements of the snake using the uh, keys on the keyboard. It records the score of the snake as it eats the apple. And the game ends anytime the snake touches the boundaries of the snake uh, game and uh, it eats itself. Thank you. Today I'll be demonstrating our PBL project that is RFID Smart Door Security System. So let me start by introducing the components that we have used in this project. First is the RFID system. Our project is mainly based on this. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification Device. As you can see, the RFID system contains two main components. One is the RFID reader and the other is the RFID tag. The RFID reader contains RF signal generator and a receiver. The RF signal generator has the antenna which will transmit radio signal waves and the receiver will re receive the feedback signals coming from the RFID tag. The RFID tag also contains a transponder which will receive the radio signal waves from the reader and will transmit back feedback signals. The RFID tag also contains a memory module which will store information. Now, our RFID reader is connected to our microcontroller. The microcontroller which we are using is our Arduino Uno. Also, we are using a 1 channel 5 volts relay module. The job of this relay module is that the uh, small currents coming from the microcontroller will help in turning on the switch inside this relay module. In uh, So, the terminals will be turned on and can be connected to a source. So, we are using a 12 volt DC solenoid log 
this is connected to our relay module also we are using a power supply so what i have done is i have connected three batteries and fitted them into this pipe each battery carries 3.7 volts 3.7 volts which in total will give me 11.1 volts which is sufficient to make my solenoid lock work also and finally we are using a buzzer this will turn on when the rfid reader will read an unknown tag i'll upload my code to my arduino so i'll go to tools select the board name select the port and upload it so my code is uploaded to the arduino now i'll show you the working so my 12 volt solenoid lock is connected to the power supply i've got a rfid card and two rfid tags this rfid card is verified so when the rfid reader scans this card the solenoid lock should open but when it scans these two rfid tags the buzzer should give out a beeping sound now i'll take my rfid tag and when i bring it close to the reader it gives out a beeping sound now if i take my rfid card and bring it close to the uh, reader the solenoid lock opens if i take out another tag it gives out a beeping sound The title of our project is Arduino based cell phone. We decided to make own cell phone that would only be used for making and receiving calls because it will be an interesting solution for children, older people and uh, those who have problems with using the phone for too long. To make the cell phone, we require Arduino Nano R3 because it will be in small size. We require GSM module SIM 800L for making and receiving calls we require some components like npn transistor 1k resistor connecting wire and switches to control the circuit for this whole circuit we require power supply of 5 volt the circuit connections are made according to this circuit diagram switch 1 is used to choose the number switch 2 is used to make the call and switch 3 is used to end the call By using the coding we designed and program, we will upload to the Arduino and we will see the working. Hello all. Our people group name is TG12, and our project title is Xbox Control to Gripper Board. The gripper mechanism lifts ups and downs and uh, moves accordingly uh, by the commands given by the remote. It can move forward, backward, and accordingly as the uh, remote op uh, operator wants. As of now, it can play, it can place the small objects as we can see. This is the run we have right now. Thanks.